today's episode of Blake's Garage, we're going to go over how to remove a Subaru Impreza WRX STI, you know, whatever kind of Impreza you have, uh, the inner door panel right here. So I'm going to go through on the basic procedure on just how to take this thing apart because I have another vibrating noise in my, uh, in my door that's really annoying me. So I'm going to go ahead and try to take care of that issue. So first we're going to start out with this little tab right here. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see that. You're gonna take a flathead screwdriver and you're gonna go ahead and insert that. Um, pry very gently. Um, you don't want to break this. This comes out really quick. Kind of folds from that end right there. As you can see, it's been taken out before. It's kind of got some plastic uh, issues around it. But anyways, take that out and go ahead and set that to the side. So after that, you're gonna go ahead and take your Phillips screwdriver, insert that into the Phillips screw right here go ahead and back that out counterclockwise take that screw out with your hand and lay that to the side so next I'm gonna go to the tweeter you basically just kind of pull out on this um, and it's kind of just gonna come out of there it has a clip in the back of it you're gonna pull straight out and you want to be careful as not to uh, to break this little tab right here so you guys can see this part here slides in actually the uh, the metal part stuck in there so I'm gonna have to get some pliers and uh, and get that out so they can go back onto this clip but it slides in there and this piece goes there so it's kind of this action like this and out okay and that'll take off this tweeter I'm gonna remove my little tab that I had caught in there with just a pair of needle nose pliers yank on that a little bit so that it doesn't fall in I don't lose it so you want to take that, you don't want to take this and uh, apply it back on there. So just click it on there like that. That way when it goes in, it's going to stay on the part. This thing we have is right down here. We are going to remove this little piece right here. So go ahead again, get your flathead screwdriver, insert it in there. Oops, lightly pry this out as gently as you can as to not break it okay so that is pulled out again again like we did I'm just gonna pull it out of there okay see it's got a little fork on it that's its tab side so it's gonna go back in there like that grab your Phillips screwdriver get in there and counterclockwise back this bolt out with that reach in there get that screw and set that to the side. Okay, now after that, you're gonna see a little area right here. You're gonna be able to insert a screwdriver into. Let's go ahead and push up on that. That is gonna allow this piece to pop out. You're gonna use a little bit of force here. Not too much as not to break it. This is gonna pry out. This piece is gonna kinda just come out of here. And your wiring for your doors and all that stuff are connected to this. So you're going to want to be careful with that. So you have a tab right here on the front. And then you have, let's see, a tab right here on the back. So those go in that area right there. And this area right here. Okay? All right. So now what you can go ahead and do is unclick the wiring from the wiring harness. So with this, basically what I do is I just um, I look at it real quick. You're going to have a little white tab area right here. Go ahead and take your flathead screwdriver again, insert it in there. Be careful when you pull these out so that you don't scratch anything. Take this one, kind of pry it in there and um, gotta have two hands for this. Push down on that little tab right there. That's gonna take this out. So interesting fact, my buddy told me, my buddy Kevin told me this. If you look at this switch right here, I don't know if you guys can read it, Nissan. That is a Nissan uh, window activator. So that's kind of funny. Okay, so after you get that armrest piece out uh, for the window locks and the window roll down activators, I'm gonna go ahead and get to these two screws here on the door. Take one of those out. Set it to the side, take the other one out, set that aside. 
So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take my fingers, just kind of get it get up in here. Um, well, I guess I could take a screwdriver, just kind of pry this ever so slightly. Um, you want to just kind of try to get your screwdriver in there without scratching the paint, basically. Um, you know, plastic, plastic something is gonna work really well for this. Um, you want to get up in there and pry to where you can get your fingers in it. This is what I like to do anyways. Get the key in my pocket. But just kind of pry these out. They're just gonna pop out on the door. Okay, once you get that, Go ahead and slide the door panel up. Okay. Now at this point, you can uh, you can choose to remove your door stuff. So you just kind of pry that out of there. That just clips out. This one goes on the bottom. Okay. Green goes on top. All right. So just pry that one out. That one unclicks as well. All right. So leave those to the side. Now I'm going to access my speakers. See if I can't figure out what the heck was jiggling in there. All right guys, so I don't know if you can hear it, but kind of that brown, 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 brown noise. So I'm gonna go ahead, see if I can't take this apart uh, where they put in the speaker. These are focal speakers or focal, however you wanna pronounce it. Um, you know, they have, I mean, they're supposed to be some pretty good speakers. I paid like 400 bucks for them, which is just stupid. I wish I never would've done that because uh, they sound worse then the factory audio, which is ridiculous, but that's mostly just because um, this head unit doesn't have enough power to power it, and uh, these speakers need an amp. So, uh, you know, gotta invest a little bit more money to make it sound good, I guess. But let's tear this apart, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I pulled this out, and this is what I found in here, okay? So this is the, like, the factory um, connection, basically for the speaker, um, but it's got this stupid, little metal part on it, right? I mean, not that it's stupid, it's supposed to be clamped on something, but it's just freaking rattling around in there because the uh, speaker guys did not install it correctly. So this is why if you go to a speaker shop, I mean, pay the extra money, do it yourself realistically, just install the speakers yourself because you're gonna do a better job than they are, or go to a really high-end car audio place, pay the price and have them installed correctly because um, you will run into issues like this crappy issues like like these stupid little I mean come on that's junk these things should all be soldered and you know heat shrinked and all that stuff but you know for what you uh, you get what you pay for so that's what happened here um, see if I can't fix this all right so for that little metal piece I'm just gonna put on some of this uh, 3m double sticky tape this stuff works really well um, it's more of like a permanent one I got it from a plastic store um, I'm sure you could get it at like a craft store or something like that. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and cut some of this off. And apply it to that little piece that I have hanging down there. I'm gonna put that on here. And there's like a little, I don't know, there's like a little flange, you know, area up top. So I'm just gonna stick that up on the top so it doesn't rattle around anymore because it's very annoying. So this will take care of that issue. Um, on your stock speakers, you're not gonna have this issue, but you know, if you hear something, I always think it's better to try to take care of it yourself than have somebody else do it. Because as you can see, you know, installations like this are not the best. So I'll just go ahead and install this speaker back on there and put the door back on. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I fixed that uh, rattling speaker issue on that little wire. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, reinstall the, don't mind that. I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall this. So you can see up here in this little mechanism for uh, the door and whatnot, it's got this part right here and it's just kind of cam so you just kind of put it up in the top and then turn and then it's going to uh, lock into this area right here okay so it's it's pretty easy this uh this top one is a ball 
So you just go ahead and just uh, put it in there, twist, and put it in between that slot. I'll go ahead and put this ball in there, twist, put it in between the slot. Um, when you're doing this part, make sure to feed your wires back up through your door panel. Okay, and let's get this little tweeter piece out of the way. Um, then we'll just click this right back on the top. So that is pretty simple there. Um, before I had this little piece of uh, this little piece of felt that I installed right here. That kind of helped cut down on some noise and vibration. Okay, so once you kind of get the door panel sat back on there, um, go ahead and look behind you. You'll see the white little clips. Um, all you have to do is just put the palm of your hand, just hit these on. They are all gonna click into place. This should be solid and firm. Shouldn't have any issues with that. All right, now that you got that panel clicked on, make sure you have your wires in this hole here, not in this hole here. Um, Cause if you clip it on beforehand, you're gonna be in the wrong slot. So go ahead and take that, um, go and grab your window and door lock switch. Um, you're gonna wanna, have, you're gonna wanna take these wires, um, they're keyed individually, so you'll see how they go in there. Um, they are only gonna go in one way, so you can click those in and then, oh wow. Check your pins, check your pins out in here. I actually have kind of a bent pin, so I'm gonna make sure that pin is aligned. I've aligned that one back up, um, cause that would not be good. Probably have issues with the doors locking and whatnot. And go ahead and slide that one back in there. Okay, so once you get that panel clip back on, do not forget to put in these two screws right here. Um, these go back to the door panel. Um, you know, you're just basically doing everything in reverse order, but um, just one piece at a time. So we got that, okay. Grab one of those, get your Phillips, and tighten it down. After that, go ahead and grab your plastic piece again, inserting it in this direction, the same way you took it out. Click and click, and you're done with that portion. So real quickly, we're gonna go ahead and install this piece back again. Um, you may just wanna check and make sure that your door locks um, do lock and unlock, and that this opens up your door as well. Um, so check that out before you tighten everything down. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and take that screw, screw it back in here, tighten it down. You wanna make sure it's tight, don't over tighten it. You know, you don't wanna strip this out, but you do want it nice and snug, that way you're not making any noises. All right, go ahead and take your plastic retainer clip. This piece is gonna go into the left-hand side. Now this is the, uh, the passenger door, you know, unless you're over uh, Japan or something, or you got a JDM car use your driver's door but anyways so we got that tightened down okay now for the last part here I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall gosh this guy he just kind of had my uh, crossover just kind of shoved up in here so I'm gonna put some double sticky tape on that um, that way it doesn't rattle around because it was it was really just shoved in there not taped on at all at least you know at least put some tape on it not to say that's the best insulation way but at least it won't vibrate as much Okay, so once again, you're gonna wanna look at these tabs. Um, this tab is gonna go straight into this hole here, and this one right here is gonna slide in sideways. So you kinda wanna do that sideways sliding one first, then this piece, um, then you just shove it on. Should be good. Do, you know, the tap test. All right, guys, so now your door panel is reinstalled. I wanna thank everybody for watching. Please like and subscribe down here in the bottom of the screen, and uh, keep more coming. And thanks guys, peace out, talk to you later.